All right, so I played a zombie classic. I usually shy away from these, but I thought I owed it to myself to try and really experience the authentic zombie stuff, especially coming off of uh, Capcom Month 2. I played Dead Rising, the original, on my Xbox Series S. Disclaimer, I didn't finish. I got to about day two. I, I died plenty of times, actually. And most recently, the clock ran out before I got to the next case file. But I feel like I've got enough experience to talk about what the game is like overall. I have some memories of my friend in grade school having this on the 360 and it being sort of like a Xbox showpiece at the time. Oh, it's a giant shopping mall with zombies and you can kind of run around and pick up anything and attack the zombies and there's a kill counter and you know there is a plot underneath it all frank west is you know dropped off at a shopping mall because this you know they think it's riots but then he gets there and it's zombies i don't know why he thinks he's riots and he's taking pictures of them <laughs> eating their corpses uh, oh is that a riot <laughs> like, <laughs> this is a riot um but it's pretty uh i don't know it's pretty cool, pretty sandboxy, kind of just do what you want as long as you are following the main cases. Uh, there is kind of this idea of like you want to take pictures and, you know, get the scoop on what's going on in Colorado, this zombie situation. And he's like, in order to progress the storyline, you go in with like these detectives and like these other people and trying to see like what's really happening here. At one point you're fighting this uh, this gunman in the little wonderland area or the food court and he's like running across the tops of these uh like these stalls and you know, it, it just becomes like a kind of a wild zany zombie thing I, I think the game doesn't take itself too seriously i think it's pretty funny um with the dialogue i don't think humor is the main point but you know it's i think that's kind of the point of zombie games anyways to be kind of cheesy but don't let that deceive you the game can be really difficult like when you even just start off with the first zombie encounters the, the shopping ball floods in with them and they start killing all of these survivors and you get notifications oh lucy's dead oh, oh man. becky's yeah. dead you know like you can't even you can barely save it i'm reading the <laughs> reviews and you know there's like there's a sub quest where you could just go save the survivors a lot of people go into these survivor matches to try and save the survivors and they end up just saving themselves because that's all they're able to do I really like the arcadey and rpg style of it so in the bottom is a, a a kill counter for zombies i was at almost 700 before i had the uh the time out uh, but one thing that helps is if you level up, you can increase your inventory size, you increase your strength, your your health, and things like that. And what's really cool is even if you're like struggling at the beginning, you're level one and you're just playing the game normally, you have the option of either just loading your save file, and you can save frequently at any restroom or any um, little mattress area, or you can start the uh, game over with all of your stats. You can go in from like, I'm at level seven right now. If I died, I could technically start from day one and go that way. It's a little janky. So like even in that gunfight I was talking about, like you can pick up any weapons and they usually expire and then you have to just keep cycling through weapons. Uh, so, <laughs> you know, the gun, you're getting in this gunfight and I think his name's Carlito or something. I, I don't know. Uh, but he's running both ways, and any time he comes into your line of fire, he's firing an automatic weapon at you, and you can barely dodge these shots. You can oh, kind of good, finesse yeah. it, like where points where you can like be behind a, a block of wood and then you know shooting at him. But even the aiming is weird. Like you're going into like right trigger mode to aim, but there's no reticle. But you or like or it's like a little dot, and you know it's with the handgun. So it, it can be really tricky using a couple of the weapons in the game, but I do think cycling through everything makes it kind of fresh. The game is hard. Once nighttime hits, those zombies get really powerful, so even on that first night. And I think there's kind of a thrill to it, too. Like I and But there's also ways you can kind of maneuver around it. Like one of my hacks is to grab like the big items, like the bench or like a bookshelf, and then just slam like five zombies at once because even when you're... Re retracting 
you have these invincibility frames, so they can't really grab you. Plus, you're taking down a bunch of them at once. In a certain point of the game, uh, like early on, they start to drop queen bees. So you can drop a queen bee, and it'll kill a bunch of zombies in the vicinity, and they'll turn into like worms. It's gross, I know, but it's helpful. And also, you can jump off of zombies' backs. You can even see what weapons they're holding. Sometimes it's a knife. Sometimes it's a nightstick. If they're a police officer one, sometimes it's uh, a, a hunk of meat and it's somebody's arm <laughs> and even their own and they're just nibbling <laughs> on it and it's gross. And you don't want it. You can just throw it. Uh, one of the pro tips is to kill the clown early on and get the chainsaw. I hear that's a really uh, what? helpful item. Kill the clown and get the chainsaw. What? Kill the clown and get the chainsaw. <laughs> what? You'll figure it out later. You can watch the VOD. Uh, so the chainsaw is really helpful on massacring these zombies. I'm enjoying the game. Will I finish it? I think so. I'm I'm getting there. I'm like a good percentage in. And uh, yeah, I'm glad I played it. Ed Rising. Today keeps going this way. I just might... <laughs> Kill some the chainsaw. What? The yeah. motherfucking chainsaw. That, anyway. That's what Spencer's doing. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I didn't get the, it. The store, uh, Jill's Sandwiches is a reference. Yes, to I was going to mention Jill's yeah. Sandwiches. I was going to ask you if you went to Jill's Sandwiches. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't know. Which part of the, the plaza is it in? I think it's in the, it's in the food court. Yeah. Too. It's just like a shop that says Jill's Sandwiches, and it's a joke from the first game where Barry was like, you were almost a Jill Sandwich. <laughs> Is that a uh, joke from the first? Oh, from, from Resident uh, Evil. Yeah, I from Resident Evil. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, I didn't see that, but I saw the the Capcom like little Lego looking heads, no, and I oh, started. Those, those are yeah. um, those are serve bots from Mega Man Legends. Oh, yeah. I see. I noticed them from like the Marvel vs. Capcom uh, things. This on the packaging or whatever. So I, you can actually put it on Frank's head, and then even in the cutscenes, he's looking around with this thing. It's pretty <laughs> <Yeah>. funny. <laughs> Uh, there's also a Mega Man film being advertised outside the movie theater. Oh, okay. I, I went to the movie, movie theater. It was a cool little set piece. That's one thing I like about this game is like the exploration. There's not like any movies playing, but it's it's cool to just kind yeah. of run around the... The shopping mall is huge. It's not just like one yeah. little area. There's a whole map to it. Yeah. Looks like uh, the MKR group who holds the copyright to Dawn of the Dead and the remake... Uh, tried to sue Capcom. Sorry to sue Capcom, Microsoft, and Best Buy for some reason for claiming oh, wow. that Dead Rising infringes on their shit. But the, I love zombies this. in a mall. Yeah, it's zombies in a fucking mall. I love yeah. this. The, there's a, the judge, Judge Richard G. Seaborg, had to state that uh, they failed to demonstrate the similarity or any protected element of Dawn of the Dead to that of Dead Rising, with many of the elements MKR claimed were similar being part of the wholly unprotectable concept of humans battling zombies in a mall yeah. during a zombie outbreak. <laughs> I love that like some judge like went to school for this. That's so amazing. Just, zombies in a fucking mall. Man. <laughs> like, <laughs> wholly unprotectable concept. Yeah. <laughs> Frank West, he, he's covered wars, you know? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, th- you know, Dead Rising is funny because it, it it's one of those games that came out early on the 360 where they were like, can't the 360 do these amazing things? And it and it was I'm not saying it's a bad game per se. I haven't really played it, but um, it, it, it almost shows like a, a, a tech demo where back then they were like, let's before we couldn't do this. But now we can cram like a million enemies on screen and let's let's do it. Mm-hmm. And then you just kind of get to see it. And it's. It's really interesting to see like what what people were prioritized is really cool back then, and and see how they how it even performed like how it worked, which is really neat. Those cutscenes of like their mouth movements are like jarring as they're like talking. So this is not like a remaster or anything. I don't think that exists for this first game, but uh, it remi- it gave me like Fable graphics. Like vibes. just an HD version. Capcom mm-hmm. did HD versions of the first two games and like the sub games for two because they had like different chapter games and stuff for them. But Re- remaster version came out on uh, July eighteenth, twenty sixteen. Oh no no, it, still... it was announced. It was announced it would come out and was released on September thirteenth of that year. They were they were just like ports. They were just like twenty dollar 
ports because I remember I got the first one on PS4 mm -hmm. when it came out, and because I was like, maybe I, I've never liked Dead Rising, so I was like, maybe I'll like it now, and I still didn't like it. But you know, mm -hmm. but I remember getting it on when it came out on PS4. Um, yeah, I remember a lot of people when this game first came out. They were yeah, it was all like. You, you won't like all my friends are like you won't believe how many zombies are like you can use like a mm -hmm. a, a, a bench you know or a, whatever like pick this up and hit them with it and I was like that sounds cool I don't know what it is I can never get into this game or or its mm -hmm. sequels because mm -hmm. I've tried multiple times yeah, yeah it's how... kind of nerve wracking yeah oh, no, sorry go ahead Spencer. no 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 go ahead uh, I was saying it's kind of nerve wracking too like I always want like want to complete everything like and then all these people are. Or wanting you to rescue him on the radio, and then it's it's so hard. I don't think it, you're able to rescue everyone. And then if you die, I think you have to start over at the beginning. But you still have all your of your upgrades. So it kind of gets easier every time you try it. I think it's like a, is it like a seven day cycle or a, seventy-two hours? Uh, oh, seventy-two. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. But uh, yeah, you're right. You gotta always have that main quest in the back of your mind. And I didn't really understand yeah. like the the layout. Like you can look at your watch and then it pulls up the quest. But one thing that sucks is like yeah. even when you're doing that, the zombies are still coming at you. So you gotta really be in a safe space to do that. Right. Um but it has the arrow to tell you where to go, so it's not too confusing. Yeah. Although that arrow is janky too. It because like it doesn't like just generally point to a direction. Like there's like hallways and it'll be like It'll be like net moving with you. It's weird. Yeah. Um, yeah, I was just going for subquests, and then I completely missed that main quest, and I was like, "Well, yeah. goddamn!" And there's so there's like multiple logs worth of files that you have to complete to go through the game. So I I think that timer thing can throw you off. You um, you don't have to start from the beginning of the game if you die. You do you can load your game. Just oh, that's right. Yeah, that's at. right. Yeah. That's right. I would be curious to see and, how this game evolved into Dead Rising Four. Like, I wonder what the difference oh, is. <laughs> I've heard. At the, okay, okay, so I I haven't played four. I played two and three. They get progressively goofier mm. as they go on, and I believe four is just like just like Saints <laughs> Row three levels of stupid, where it's like okay. Frank West is back and he's silly as silly as ever, you know and. Like I, I think like the ultimate edition of four is called Frank's Big Package or something. Like it's, it's yeah. what I could tell. It just got like goofier and goofier. There's a fifth one now though, right? No, oh. canceled. Four is the last oh? one. Yeah. Oh, four is, four is the last one they did. Goddamn, it's quite the note to go out on. I never got past the second one. It, re it was really the the second one really gave me anxiety because not only is it timed, I think you have to your your daughter you're you're trying to protect your little daughter and see it needs a medication to keep her from being a zombie. So you have to like go give that to her. Like you have to go find a, a med and give it to her every few hours. Like oh man, I can't handle this. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, you're playing as Chuck Green yeah. and you can like combine stuff. Yeah. That was the coolest thing about two was like, yeah. you can, like make weapons. Yeah, yeah. And, like. You could combine like a paddle with like chainsaws to have like double chainsaws yeah, yeah. and stuff. Yeah, this game is a little more straightforward, I think. Like you can see like food icons and you know weapon icons and whatnot. So and you know you can build your inventory that way. And I think the the frequent like restrooms, you know, you let your load out. No, it helps you save as needed. Looks like the fourth one they got rid of the timer entirely. Oh, good. But apparently brought it back for Frank Rising DLC. Frank Rising? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Frank's Dick Rising. Frank's Dick Rising. Rising. It's for gay month. Hey, wait. The future is gay. Just every month. Okay. I'll pick <laughs> the next person. Hey, y'all. Don't forget to subscribe to them button mappers.